السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک ٹو ٹریٹمنٹ ود قرآن مائی سیلف حافظ سلمان اینڈ مسٹر گل فارم ہیز جوائن اس فار اینادر کوشچن مسٹر گل فارم مینی پیپل دے ہیو ڈفرینٹ کائنڈ آف میڈیکل ایشوز اینڈ دے گو ٹو ڈاکٹرز میڈیکل پریکٹیشنرز اینڈ دوز ڈاکٹرز دے پرووائڈ دے یو نو سجیسٹ دیم اور پرسکرائب دیم ڈفرینٹ ڈیلی روٹینز اینڈ یو نو دے دے سجیسٹ دیم سم ڈوز اور سم ڈونٹس یس All right. So when a person go, you know, have when a person has high levels of uric acid or cholesterol, so doctors, you know, advises advise that person to avoid using beef meat. So my question to you is that why different spiritual practitioners they ask their patients to avoid beef meat uh, for for getting recovery. for their spiritual issues or their magical issues why they stop mm-hmm. them eating beef meat bismillahir rahmanir rahim uh, mr salman when you go to a person for treatment of black magic or evil eye so that spiritual healer he uses different things to treat his patients yeah and we do not know which things he will apply and which creature he will employ hmm. for the treatment of these problems so many spiritual healers they employ demons hmm. for the treatment of spiritual healers uh, to treat jinn possession to treat black magic to treat evil eye and different other spiritual issues they treat different demons hmm. and demons they also have different religions hmm. some demons belong to hindu religion some demons belong to Christianity and some belongs to Jewism and some demons some genes are Muslims it's really a very new thing for us that we have in this idea that most of the humans we know that they are divided into different religions into different sects as well so it's really a new thing that <laughs> demons also have different religions yes, and they, they also belong sects. to yeah, they also belong to different religions not only religions but they also belong to different school of thoughts for example in islam mm. uh, we have sunni muslims shia muslims so there are jinns some belong to uh, sunni islam and some belong to shia islam mm. so there are different religions and there are different school of thoughts in jinns too okay so if a spiritual healer has employed uh, hindu jinns so these hindu jinns will ask the spiritual healer to stop his patients to avoid eating cow meat why you know cow is a sacred entity in hinduism hmm. it's a sacred animal for and them and it is it is considered a deity in it's hinduism it's not even animal for them <laughs> <laughs> yeah and uh, it is their their uh, for them it is uh, mata it is hmm. mother and uh, it is god for hindus and you know uh, eating cow cow meat and uh, mm-hmm. slaughtering cow has been a bone of contention between hindus yeah. and muslims in subcontinent and and nowadays there are also, there are also some conflicts in india between them so hinduism in hinduism when god is a sacred entity so these hindu jinns will ask the spiritual healer ask your patients to mm-hmm. avoid eating cow meat mm-hmm. and if you don't do that we will not work for you so there is an agreement between mm-hmm. hindu jinns and between that spiritual healer so if that patient stops you know eating cow meat or beef meat so that jinn will actually help him in his recovery in his recovery in treatment of those th- those mm-hmm. that thing so this is the thing why spiritual healers and why people who claim to treat spiritual pro- problems they advise people to stop eating cow meat mm-hmm. so this is the reason behind it cow eating cow meat has nothing to do with treatment of black magic or evil eye mm-hmm. uh, if as you said if you are facing some physical issues and uh, cow meat eating beef is dangerous for you so you can avoid it for medical reasons yes but if some spiritual healer ask you to avoid eating cow meat so just remember in your mind that he has employed hindu jinns for the treatment of these spiritual mm-hmm. issues so this is the reason yes thank you so very much for your time mr gulfam thank you so very much for watching this video